going to make this as very awkward as possible because I do want to pan around, but at the same time too, I'm fucking lazy. Let's so let's go ahead and do this. Can I get everyone in there? Nope, not anymore. I don't know what happened. I thought everyone was in there. What happened? What happened? I think I got you. I think you need guys to go over to get over just a little bit. But um, so we wanted to go over with you guys exactly what happened today. So how do you guys feel from uh, today's? Uh, let's start with the trilogy. How did one feel about trilogy? Oh, great. <laughs> we don't need to be interviewed. Uh, uh, there were three decks. There's there three was, decks. The whole the whole meta. Or, I mean the whole the whole. And then McBobber's deck. Yeah. So tell us about your. Deck. And then and then just Bobber's tell us about your deck, McBobber. <laughs> it was uh, Wat Watto Claudite, and it was real good. Was, uh, so what made you do Claudite? There's the question. Well, I wanted Watt and Watto, and then <laughs> Claudite fit. <laughs> It's that, that simple, guys. You hear that? No, there's flexi- it. it's five dice target. There's flexibility in the quad eye, you know? What? You, it, when I first made the deck, it was two quad eyes, and then single die watt, single die watto. Mm-hmm. And then eventually I decided that, as much as I like the six health, I just wanted another watt and watto mix because it's okay. so good. How much removal's in that deck? I think there's six removal in the deck. Yeah. There was a lot of misprobes. No. All right, so let me get like before we <laughs> before we get into misprobes. Yes. Um, <laughs> a lot of people tried to. Probe you don't want to miss your probe. Work. He's just getting money. No problem. And he's buying stuff. Like he's yeah. got three or four supports in his hand every round. Right. So let me start start with the basis. If you don't know exactly what happened, so um, uh, McBobber is our six zero from trilogy. Um, so very congratulations, man. Thank Congrats you. with everything. Yeah. He's like literally. Fingling his money right now that he won. Oh, oh by the way, like uh, it's kind of cool. Cascade actually didn't do the uh, um, tickets. You know, they had the one point and two point tickets. They actually gave out little coins. Yeah. Um, it's kind of cool. So uh, just so, quick. Yeah, like we can really. You can't see this crap, but uh, uh, I'll, I can put it up. That's a pixel. Yeah, but it's, uh, it has Cascade on one side and then a ten on the other. They said, "Don't worry about the ten. But um. <laughs> Uh, so they're kind of cool. It's a little different than they usually do, but um, other than that, yeah, this guy completely shut out everybody. And it was I almost got very nice. I got within one HP. Yep. I had a one and three. Yeah, Ball. and that was on uh, my stream, right? Or yeah. was it on? Yeah. Yep. Oh, I was like, I came a lot. Yeah. I just kept popping up. Get it, man. So much, so much streaming action happened. There's so, double streams. I think, uh, Artist history, yeah. Artist history was streaming the whole time, um, and then I was streaming until my phone died. So we were we were talking about how McBobber had such a ridiculous board state that we need to like get him a little, you know, an extra. He had to come over to the other table and basically start putting some crap over there. Uh-huh. Was, I mean, it was ridiculous. They were overlapping. Though. It was just... I mean, it was like he had a smuggling ring that he just forgot to even put <laughs> the money on. <laughs> it was just sitting in the corner. He had freaking sixteen. Freaking things, and the you know the the phasma guy ran, or the Palpatine guy or whatever it was he ran out of stuff to do, or it was it was a phasma, and, phasma yeah. and he just like ran out of stuff. And he's just sitting there past. So what were you guys? What did you go against? <laughs> There's sixteen supports. Um, I went against a couple of the uh, Watt Watto and Central Messenger. I'll start doing this. And then I think there was like three phasmas, and I don't remember what the other one was. Okay. I went against um, three Phasma and three of the three way. Yeah, it's, it's in the close with the two decks. And stuff. I never went against the Palpatine for some reason. Just didn't get. Oh, you never touched. Yeah, you never went no against Palps. the Palps. Palps. That's freaking nuts. Um, Maybe Palps the answer to my deck. I don't know. Never went against. Him. So uh, when you start getting all the top tables, right? So uh, what did you go against the most? Was there more of a certain thing that you went against? Probably Phasma. It was three phasmas. And are 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 we surprised to see that many phasmas at, at trilogy? It's, it's like a pre-built, you know, FFG deck. I mean, it's got. You want to build a phasma deck like in standard, like a phasma red. There's not really a card in standard that you would even want to add to that deck, like hardly. You know, it's like everything's already in there in the trilogy. So. Yeah, dude. That. Like uh, you were stomping me like crazy. Like the like oh, before the we even started with the warm ups. And I was playing like a standard deck, so I three owed you. Yeah, Come and I'm on, like, tell him, tell him how it was. Yeah, man. that was horrible, dude. <laughs> so me, uh, so we're, uh, I was getting my real hopes up here. So I was, uh, if you guys didn't know, I was doing pop Watt. and uh, and I was going against his Phasma, uh, Phasma, <laughs> Phasma Watt deck, 
And uh, yeah, I had zero on three on the airport while before we even started coming here. So yeah, high hopes, high hopes happened. Um, but yeah, so uh, what's everyone's record? If you don't, if you want to share, no, you can say can no. Share it. It's up to you. I, I tanked in the trilogy. I did, I, I did the three three in the trilogy and four two in standard. I had, I had the five one in grasp and I, in standard and I just like. I don't want to go into the too many yeah. details, but I just made a misplay on the. So you were running uh, Phasma Watt though, right? In in, in trilogy, trilogy. Yeah, and then just snuck Waddle Foss. And snuck Waddle Foss in standard. Standard. Yeah. Um, so you went uh, uh, three and. Three three four two. Three three and then four two. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome, man. Uh, what uh, we'll, get, we'll get to standard a fickle, in a minute. Like in the standard, yeah, we'll do standard later. Yeah. But I had I had like a misplay, lost me the game. The but tilt, the tilt. It's just hard, man. It's hard, like. You know, you freaking you fly out here. You know, we're up late. We're building decks. Um, had a long work week. And yeah. We're trying to, you know, play at the highest levels of like Star Wars Destiny. And that and cool. that was your first loss to yeah. standard. Yeah, that was my first loss at the time. Yeah. So what uh, what were you playing, Luke, uh, in uh, trilogy? I played three wide with Sentinel Messenger, uh, Watt and Watto. I went four two in trilogy, and I went three and three in standard. I lost to the um, my first loss was to the six zero champion that was on that Palpatine yellow deck. And it was a really interesting deck. Um, her deck was much more focused on actually um, having consistent removal and consistent resource generation, and then actually beating you up with Palpatine's dice as opposed to just focusing on the four star. And then I lost to Monk and his crazy uh, Lando deck. Because we don't know how to tiebreaker or count math. <laughs> <laughs> so we we just had a complication, which apparently we needed Gandor to come solve for us. Um, we went to time on our match. Um, I'll have my my deck later or uploaded later on. But um, yeah, so apparently we both are horrible at math, and just we were already blown out, tired. But I guess by the time that we we're both miscalculating numbers, and I thought we both had the same amount of damage taken but it looked like uh so we started counting cards just to make sure that being said he would have won if it was uh the cards but uh gandor came over recalculated and i actually won by like three or four hit points two, two. or two 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 hit point difference uh somehow some way so um i'll take it okay <laughs> but great game dude that was no, that was, that a, was, that was a very, that was a very interesting deck yeah uh with the Lando Anakin Gungan, right? Yeah. It, love it. So um, uh, let me get juiced on the Lando, oh God. the Lando deck. Oh god. I mean this thing is like the hero the deck that the like heroes have been looking for. Like I mean come on, you know, you got the profiteering, you roll on Lando, you get the money, freaking get Millennium Falcon going. You know, you roll money on that. You play, a sh you know. So you said one game you had freaking Shadowcaster with a TLT and a and, and a Millennium Falcon out turn one. Scapecraft on turn one. I mean, uh, round on. round one. Yeah. I mean, so you know, it, it has that like Snoke Waddle Foss like <laughs> element to it, where like you can't really stop the ramp mm -hmm. just because you're. Except instead of Snoke, it's a Gungan. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> And I don't have to do damage to myself to get the money. <laughs> yeah, so I just think that's a really, really good deck. It's, I so think rare. I did four damage to Watto before you actually did anything. Yeah. You were ramping so hard. That's, that's <laughs> actually a true statement. So, like, one of your losses was your supports were just buried Yeah. in your bottom 15. Like, you just couldn't find something, right? That was it. It was killer, man. I mean, you're but. looking for a Shadowcaster. You have... Falcon, and then you said you had. I have, pir I have pirate speeder tank. tank. Um, one. Yeah, I have two N ones. Yeah, that, you so know, there's a lot. There's a lot of yeah vehicles in it. It just happens sometimes. I mean, and like, this version actually, uh, I want to have entourages in it, but I found out that I don't have my dice with me. Uh oh. Yeah, I found that out last night. So I had to put, I had to take in a couple of extra things just to uh, cover that hole. Gotcha. But uh, see that it's so here. good. Yeah, dude, just getting those extra two resource sides or yeah. just specials, I don't care. That, that works perfectly but for I, me. I don't know. I, I love that deck. <laughs> you asked me, like, you had two different decks and won't give away your other one. Yeah. But you had two, and, you know, which one should I play, like, five minutes before the tournament was about to start? I, I do that every time. But I was, like, definitely <laughs> the Lando deck. No, it was it was a great showing. Awesome. Um, 
Uh, trilogy wise, I went top plot, just like I was saying before. Did better than I thought. Um, ended up being 4 2. And that was really about it. Uh, last one was kind of like a shut off. Uh, same thing happened in regards to the Lando thing. All my up no upgrades until round four of uh, my Palpatine match. So literally none. No upgrades. So that was killer, um, which cost me the match. So yeah, 4 2. Too easy. How was yours? What's your, what's your rank on uh, Trilogy? So I, I did the 6 0 on Trilogy, like, like these gentlemen keep saying. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think that deck just people didn't expect it. Uh, even though it was it was just a variation of villain supports, but it was different enough that people didn't know exactly what to expect. The face tanking version. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so how like my question is, do you think you just shaped the meta with that with that with uh, trilogy? With trilogy. I, I imagine people will want to run that. Yeah. Probe is so powerful, like currently in the game, that you know. I don't know. Like he's not. He's he's able to play around that. He's able to continue to advance his his board state and everything, and like not get probed and just get blown out. I don't know. That's that's one way to think about it. Plus, if you're playing all this money generation stuff, like you're constant. You're never gonna have those weird rounds that we're talking about where you just don't have a thing to buy. Like get scruffied. Like I got scruffied and snuck out of Foster the mill. Just grab my fist. Next round, scruffied again hold my mega blasters like dude so get get wrecked so you know? yeah <laughs> i think so. in general non-event removal is looking good right now the um, unique feature of that palpatine uh yellow deck was that she had sith teachings removing blanks all the time she had her so cerisos good. removing damage all the time and she was relying a lot more on that than actually events removal. like so i didn't really value this so i wish i put my palpatine down to um to one Sith teachings, but in my head I wasn't thinking of the Watto. You can use Sith teachings to get rid of Watto die. Right. Yep. And that's so and he rolls a blank. so good. That's so good. And like I didn't you, you realize that win. at all. You probably win. Yeah. On turn one. He rolls a blank and you it, have it's Sith so teachings. good. Yeah. If you and if you're using salt flats, you, mm -hmm. can, you can blank your yourself. die and then next round just remove it. It's it's so good. Salt flats is awesome. Salt flats. Um, all right, so let's talk about that. So we'll finish off on trilogy and then we'll finally get to that standard rule in depth, right? So now that we know like what we played, what we've seen, what should someone actually play, or like what would we recommend them play on the if they go to a trilogy tournament right Villain. now? Ah. Yeah. So tell them about your hero deck that you. Yeah, I, try, I try. I tried really hard. I had a Phasma deck or a Padme, Padme Enfys Enfys, um, which was relying on Mega Blasters to try to put some damage together, but it just um, was not as good as having the same structure with Lotto and Lot. You know, I think that if you have supports, they're just so much clearly better. There's not enough good upgrades to run any upgrade. I had a guy. The, the old, I saw yeah. one hero. Deck. I saw one hero deck. At so the cast pad man. There, there was a hero cast pad The cast pad man. I played in, in round one, and the first round of the game, he has a two focus on Kess, and he double focus onto Padme, and he has a two focus on Kess, right? And then he he tries to then resolve Padme's dice as indirect Ew. in the same action. Yeah, I'm like, oh, but she's not a trooper. I'm like, yeah. That's not gonna work, dude. Like, you're resolving this as indirect here, yeah. or as a focus. Um, you're not resolving her dice as indirect. Like, you've declared that. And he's like, but it says that you can resolve her dice as indirect or whatever. So like, he, it, I feel kind of bad in that situation because I think he built his whole deck like, like thinking that the deck did something else than it did, you know? So, I don't know. That was like a, kind of a weird situation. I'm there. surprised he didn't run Fenral. You know, if you're going to do that, you should run Fenral. That Fenral that yeah, that Fenral trigger is pretty good. So how does that work? Fenral, know. every time you play a ready card, you can do an indirect. You, you do an indirect damage. Essentially. So much stuff you can do with I it. I think it might be a power action. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Otherwise, that, that'd be pretty good if it was every single red card you played. Huh? That guy oh might, my gosh. Uh, he'd be up there. Yep. That'd be an all red deck all day. Deck. Oh yeah, you'd break that. <laughs> so real. Um, no, but yeah, but no, yeah. So we got no hero, but 
overall, what do you guys think? Again, just uh, just as of right now, standpoint in the meta, right? Well, I just think Nick trilogy. Bobby's what bad. do you think if someone wants consistent consistency? What should they try to do? Fill in support. Fill in support. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna get if, fucked up video. No, sorry. <laughs> but I don't know if McBarber's deck is easily piloted by like without because it has so many triggers and dis, like decision points, right, McBarber? Well, yeah. I mean, like, you got the the quadite, and the quadite can become either a okay, I'm gonna this real quick. a leader, a trooper, or a scoundrel, depending on the situation. Throughout the uh, the tournament, I, I made the cloud into all three of those things. Like there was a point where I had uh, Imperial Officer out but no other troopers, so I, I would turn the cloud into trooper so I could turn her die. I mean and that's that's a lot of like a lot of like yeah. you just gotta look at what you need in the moment. No, that, that's, did, did did anybody spike the cloud cloud on you? Nobody. So I, I, I think I would try to spike the cloud right away. They, everybody went for either Watt or Watt first. Right. That's amazing. What would you recommend? Like who did you kill first? Who did I kill? I almost, I almost beat you right. I don't. I killed with a lot. Yeah. We're trying to turn off the leader. I, right. I think killing Watt makes sense. It's kind of but you can't, you can't turn off leader with these guys. No. Not with that. It's gonna be really hard to turn off leader because I bet he has two Imperial officers yeah. and I bet he has Claudine. Yeah. Stopping leaders is not easy. No. Right. Just that's not really the making goal. it difficult. If he has to make the Claudine a leader, then it doesn't, you know, boost up his so, entourage. And so. Okay. So, but yeah, so, but if someone has all those cards that, that you play, mm -hmm. would you recommend recommend them to run that deck? Of course, yeah. I mean, it could work for me, it could work for anyone. I mean, one uh, what, what, you what, had two tech teams what's anyone and, a, and a... Try it and see. Was it two tech teams and a, and a smuggling ring and a support or yes. something? Like, you just like... Two tech, smuggling rings. So you tech team into tech team, and then you play the tech team to play the smuggling. Now you have this, like... Ultimate bully. This freaking game. just bully. Just, just you're just gonna bills, make. Bills, you're just gonna bills. make someone freaking money. So like, uh, over. Like <laughs> okay. Any, anyone else to have other than villain supports? <laughs> well, now I want to. Now, now I want to try adding the two smuggling rings to that Padme deck and see if that fixes it. <laughs> it helps. But uh, what? I, like to me, like just straight out is like Phasma is a beast in trilogy, like in general. Um, but uh, that being said, like if you want to have something simple and easy to run, um, Phasma Watt or Phasma uh, Phasma Watt it takes some thinking it for you to do. It's fairly straightforward. Um, you know, you're trying to ramp supports while going straight straight not, ham with with pew pew sides. I don't know. If it's Phasma Watto is not bad either. You could run one dice Phasma with two dice Watto yeah. and actually do the smuggling rings and tech teams and just basically still get a five dice start. One of the people I played against was running that. Right. That's amazing. Um, I think the Phasma Watt is like in this weird middle ground, same with the Phasma Watt, where it's not sure if it's like a true ramp deck. Yeah. Or like a combo or aggro yeah. deck. It's so, like in this weird. I think you're going to have to wait for what the balance of the force is, too. Yeah. Next week. We'll see, because yeah. that could very well be a point on Watto. Yeah. Which and is going to change a lot. Yeah. That being said, uh, I'm just surprised if Watto doesn't get hit. I think Watto, because they're, they're going to do something to break up Snow. The snow one of us. Yeah, that deck will not persist. I can't. Time. No, I. Sorry. I find ways to, to beat it. I don't. I mean, like, to me, there's no something. reason. I, I I doubted the Watto to try to just soft mitigate. Yeah. I freaking he, he and then he focused it back with snow and I mirror know. and standard. Like and then but the thing is then he, I I Watt, Watto power action he hits the resource you know we both made a dollar but like. There's I think I think many, it's a legit deck, but it's and just. And then he gets fists. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's good enough to be to, like from sadly from my eyes. I've I've seen top players do it, yeah. um, you know, and uh, you know I don't want to label anyone out, but it's just. I don't think it does good enough. Don't get me wrong. Turn one. Vader's fist. Turn one. Entourages to another entourage. That kind of ramp stuff. Understandable. That's cool. You're ramping all first thing, but again, guess what you're doing that whole damn time telegraphing everything that you're doing because of everything that you're doing. So if you know that next step ahead, that means you could choreograph yourself, what the hell are you gonna do? Oh, you're bringing out Entourage, okay, here you go, here's a, I'm paying three to get rid of your Entourage. Cool. What are you doing now, now that your ramp's gone? It, it's, <laughs> it's, it's very telegraphed. But again, that's where people are not playing defensively anymore, they're just like, all right, I guess I'll let him get out fist. 
because I can't do anything about this money. Mm-hmm. And it's it's weird. If you just know that it's coming, that you should be able to know. Is there a way to like it. play? Like, is there any card or any sort of thing where it, that makes somebody lose money? Does that exist in the game? No. Like some sort of. No. Just just the destroy. Nice. Nice. You got You got to have it on your. You got to have it on your dice. That sounds like an event. That'd be a FFG. Event. I don't know. That needs to come out. Well, there was uh like a. What was that one where you trade your resources with the opponent? Fair the, trade. Fair trade. Fair trade. Fair trade. Yeah, and yeah. there was that'd a, be amazing in this meta. Abandon all hope was like that. You know, that's a good card. Yeah, yeah that's uh, a that you could do is like a two, two cost right. blue, and yeah. they either they have to ditch their hand or they're not anymore. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. That's a good card. It is a good. You know, if you're going against a deck that's like going into the next round with six resources, you play abandon all hope the first. Yeah. So good. Oh, so the, the first card, either they're going to have no resources or no cards. Oh yeah. I mean, my friend Brandy. I missed the abandon all hope. Oh, like and he went to he went to Vegas. He got Zion on two abandoned all hopes and, and the Swiss, and he won the game. So good. He got him for he was playing Zion was playing for on Snoke. He got him for like six, and then for seven or something, he won. He was playing some Vader theme deck with like force yeah. chokes and stuff, and he won. But yeah, we went off on a tangent. That but it's a tangent. Just, but uh, but we need, overall, we need some way to interact with their with their money though. I think that's a good. I, that's a hot take. I still know? think the most like MVP card of trilogy right now. Uh, you guys can probably debate me with me on this is fucking uh, um, Dodge. Oh, yeah. I heard so many like people people again against your rap depth. I get it, that's fine. Okay. But there was like 20 billion Phasma players at this trilogy, uh, trilogy tournament, and I heard almost every single one of them go. I hate Dodge or <laughs> said something bad about Dodge okay. because someone played it when. They're trying to lay out all the nice pew pew sides out on the board, so all of the stars align, yeah. and then they get dodged. Yeah, that's because they're always trying to get all of their dice on the pool for road, rather than on the top uh, they go. It's and such an MVP card. You know, like I got blown out by dodge multiple times. So good. Two resources. Yeah. And then they, after they play one, then you're running scared the rest of the game. Where's the other dodge? I can't focus that. You know, you're like, it's, it's all awkward now. Yeah. Like that happened to me. So, but like, at least as of right now, before like Spark of Hope comes out, and uh, you know, these these three wide, you know, crazy ramp decks come out for Trilogy at least. Um, I think that's sounds like a must of to put in your in your deck is dodge, and somehow be able to pay for dodge and still do stuff with it. Yeah. So, Bill and Rap, yeah. Ram. All right. Um, oh yeah. So before we move out to uh, standard, uh, just big shout out to Lucas. Like so, Lucas Lit- Litzinger actually showed up to this trilogy. Um, it was just nice seeing him to kind of pop his head in. Um, he played. He played the rounds. He went like four, four two or three three. No, he went three three. I got to play the trilogy. I got yeah. To play him. That was cool. yeah. So Paul got to play. So it's yeah. It was just a nice kind of like throwback. Um, and a lot of people like uh, you know. Thanked him for his, his service for the most part for creating the game that kind of thing. I, I thanked him for for making Sienna. <laughs> <laughs> hey, show your Sienna spot um, gloves. Where's, where, where, yeah, where's, where's your Sienna yeah. spot gloves? Uh, I, big, did, I did use my tickets for my tokens for Sienna spot gloves. Yeah, big big shout out to Cascade for everything that they were doing. They were trying to make it as accommodating as possible. It was a very well well run event. Yeah, everything stayed on time. You know, I didn't think any problems. There wasn't the problem with the app like there was in Atlanta, in Denver to some extent. I mean, we had Dandor. Yeah, so we have Gander here. That's what they call him, the A team. He's a class act. Uh, David Freeman, uh, he's a friend of mine and all stuff too from the GQ. He, he ran the GQ in uh, uh, Kubicon yeah. last year. Yeah. Um, and uh, I just saw a few other people that, that, I, that I usually see that run with Cascade. Um, yeah, they ran it pretty damn awesome. Um, I wish it there wasn't in two different rooms because there was kind of like a, hey, you suck, you go to that, this <laughs> yeah. room. Yeah. Um, yeah. aspect, uh, the top 16 tables, right? Mm-hmm. Top 16 tables were, uh, in one room, uh, where the broadcast stations were, um, and then the next, whatever the rest of the tables are, um, um, were in the other room, uh, which had no air conditioning, by the way. Um, that being said, uh, there was 42 for Trilogy. Think so. Yeah, 42. I think 41 or 42. I think it was 41, actually. Yeah, 41. 
Um, so it was a little bit shorter on the trilogy because, you know, everyone was probably just grinding pots, just waiting for Shender to happen. Um, um, and then, just trying to see if anything else I want to say anything about that. Uh, uh, shout out to Artificery, uh, Dice of Failure, uh, Commando Cast, Cloud City, Cloud City, Cloud City Rollers, the Vancouver uh, Master, Master of Mitigation. They were there. A lot of Canadians. There's like, there's like 10 or 12 people oh, yeah. from Vancouver here. Yeah. We all live like a yeah, yeah, game and monkey up. Okay, yeah, yeah. Everyone's here. Um, <laughs> so it's just uh, no, just a huge that like there's a huge thing that happened, and then we did a a, a, a nice little get together at the end, which was kind of nice. Got to talk, uh, bull crap for a little bit, that type of thing. Um, standard. What's your record, Paul? I went four and two. I misplayed. I had it, and I lost to the mirror. And you snow bottle foxed yeah. Yeah. I feel really good about it. I'm gonna go tomorrow. I'm gonna to try to try to win tomorrow. Get it again. Yeah. Same deck. Yeah. Right. We'll see. What you I, doing, Luke? I was three and three. Okay. My lot. One of my losses was to the six and all Lapel player. One of my losses was to you. Yeah. And I had a. I had a. I had a Han Aiden that beat me. That was. A, oh, see, see that, that's a Han Aiden that beat me. Yeah. That very first round. A lot. <laughs> He, he, he rolled oh, a lot of this two guy man. Wreck, you guys. Yeah. Whoa. So good. Was he on military camp? It. It's so good. Was he just yeah, like, he was military camp. Just get a little action sheet. And just oh, there was one I thought he guess was um, Mean Streets. Was he? Oh, no. No, he I was on Mean Streets. Never mind. No, that, yeah, that, that, that right. right. was on Mean Streets. All right. No, no, you're right. That was but, the, uh, uh, the Dice of Failure guy. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, the Dice of Failure guy. And he just he just spit fire against me. But... The, my two two of my losses, the one against you and then the one against him, I had I had none of the Holy Trinity in my open hand after uh, Malfa. Uh, so uh, what's the Holy Trinity for the people that don't know? Uh Vader's Fist, Entourage, or Mega Blaster Troopers, if you don't have any of them in your opening hand. You diss the whole hand. You know, weird things. Like I made you I made you discard three. I snoked uh yeah, I, I snoked Wado to make you discard because I didn't have anything to spend money on. I hate when I people do that. So bad. Those, uh, you will never play your favorite cool. speeder tank. Yeah, it was so bad. Yeah, you got my speed tank. Um, uh, I ran, so, yeah, so I ran uh, Elite Lando, uh, Little Annie, and um, and Gungan. So, yellow. This is pretty much another version of another hero support. I went 5 uh, 1 today, and uh, the only loss was that Dice of Failure guy. Forget that guy. I'm kidding. He's such a good guy, and like we were oh, like, funny guy? We were, yeah, he's, yeah. Like he's, 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 oh no, no, it wasn't. Oh, Kylo. it wasn't him. It wasn't Kylo. No. Um, no, he's a nice, yeah, nice, right. a very nice like. Oh, Kylo's my guy. This guy's yeah. known to uh, <laughs> uh, like Kylo's to run. I met him today. Hunt Biggs, I think. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was good. It was good matches. Um, three owed against No Blood of Fox. That is next level, dude. That's so let's so go. Let's go, man. You beat me too in testing. Oh, yeah. The one match you played against yeah. me. I want a rematch. So, that's just, that's all I'm saying. Is. Like, that was so close. One man. more round. One more so round. You just, one more like, round. Never round lost to Snow Blood of Foss with that deck. Like, Not yet. You, you just 4 0 like, Oh, you yeah. You just beat me in uh, yeah. testing. So we'll see. That's crazy. We'll see. Oh, yeah, by the way, I just want to kind of put a caveat first before I even say anything. So I literally, just like we were saying before, like I had like three minutes before we started. I'm like, I don't know, should I play this Lando deck or should I play this other deck? And these guys, um, I, I asked Paul him first. He's like, whatever you feel, you know what I mean? I told so, you the Lando. Yeah. <laughs> I said play the Lando. What do you say? What do you say? I didn't say whatever you feel. Paul said play the Lando. He says, I'm going to go check no, the Lando. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, no, we're I told him to ask Greg Potter. I said, yeah, play the Lando, but go no, ask Greg Potter. Potter. <laughs> so then I go to Potter. I, I go to Potter. And Potter will set you straight. Yeah, yeah. You go so to Dagobah, Bob. take the trip over to Dagobah, get in your, you know, X Wing or whatever those things go. I'm just here talking about. Yeah. Like, he lives in the woods of Oregon. It's an ongoing joke. He lives in a swamp? Yeah, we just pretend that he lives in a swamp. <laughs> He's um, a Jedi master. So I walk over to Bob and I'm like, hey, so what, what should I play? Like this deck or, or Orlando? And he's like, um, what do you feel? Like, you're like, what do you feel? I'm like, uh, I don't know. He's like, yeah, yeah, Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> or something in that regard, if you remember, right? I yeah, it was, of course, I thought. I thought the Lando deck was a lot more fun and interesting than the other deck, and I, and I thought 
people wouldn't know it super well, and that element of surprise would give you an edge. Yeah. So, that's, tr that's true. I actually spent the first round of that game wondering if you're playing a mill variant. Mm hmm. Oh, that's nice. That's interesting. Hmm. All right. But yeah, no, yeah, it, today was a, uh, an utter blast for both, both oh, sides. Yeah. Because um, Lando has two discard sides, Annie has a discard side. You could build that with Annie pads. So I was I was worried about mill. Yeah, that, that makes a complete sense. You could probably go that way with it. I don't think it'd be very good. Just put no answers. It's like you could do it. Like you could do it. <laughs> I mean, All right, what 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 you guys do, Robert? So I, I had to go with my uh, my Phasma Sentinel. That's sort of my signature deck. But um, I went three three. It didn't work quite as well as I'd hoped. Uh, had some tough matchups. Poem Poem beat me up at one point, and uh, I had to get my revenge. Yeah, from the trilogy. So, so even Steven on that one. I gotcha. Um, so out of all the deck, like, uh, the, the one that we saw the most was Snow Plot of Plots, right? Is that, is that a, a true statement? Mm -hmm. for I, I only played against one of them. I, I played against an auto. Oh, yeah. That, that seemed pretty fucked up, too. How many auto? There was only one auto, right? I only saw only one. Somebody played an auto with two, two Watt dice instead of two Watto dice. Interesting. But, but that makes a lot like which makes you want to kill body. But then I played that deck. That's not the one. But I'm then against. he went. He would like put put like he get the the Watto on the plus two, and then he he towels him to get Watt on 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 the resource. Uh -huh. And I'm like, okay, well, measure for measure, <laughs> you know. And then he yeah, like, uh, and then he like you know focuses his own his uh, you know uses the focus on the Watt to turn towels into a dollar, you know. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll uh, you know. But yeah, so, I'll, I'll play another measure for measure or whatever. Like I just, he never got his money. Like it didn't work. So I, uh, uh, so but, oh sorry, you go first. The final table of standard was two big littles. It was Vader. Yeah. It was Vader red, the Vader first order stormtrooper, I believe, and the Palpatine. Wow, that is so crazy. I love both. What kind of wow? I love Palpatine. Wow, I think it's a great deck. Yeah, like wow. I'm I'm just surprised. The Vader so Red is super good. I love. Playing. It's just it's just very, like again it's it's action, it's action cheating antics. It's either you roll a good one or you don't roll the good one. But with him, he just has a higher ratio of rolling a good one, because of his his awesome dice sides. Yeah. Um, but it's just, yeah, it's just very interesting to see that that those two were on top today. Um, uh, so for today, just uh, again uh, snapshot. Um, Palpatine Watto took it 6 0, right? Right, yep. Um, and that, yeah, to me, that's amazing. I absolutely love it. And Lando and a Kingo get it 5 1. Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it. Uh, but no, I love it. That's, that, that is like no, a no, tremendous accomplishment. Yeah, like, with, right on the cusp. To make, to go 5 1 and with a deck that you made, like, just came up with the idea and, like, just saw it through mm -hmm. and limited reps, like, that's crazy. It's the dream. It's awesome. Um, what else? Anything you want to say about standard? There's a lot of variety. Um, it's tough. I, know, I, I couldn't say what the best deck is. Probably not Phasma Sentinel. <laughs> I, I I've been seeing like Phasma just get shut out at standard a lot lately. I think a lot of people attack against her because she's popular. Yeah, and it makes it rough. I know some uh, like other content creators and all that stuff favor like a hey, Phasma. You should go Phasma. That type of thing kind of consistent, but I don't know. I don't know because it's just again that nice little thing. If you tech into it, you put dodges in your damn deck. You turn off a round for them if they if they do what they want to do in regards to routes and and all that stuff. So I don't know. I still think Phasma Sentinels. It's good, good especially think, if you ramp the think, way that he can ramp. I think it's really good against Mill, but I didn't play against any Mill, so it didn't, it didn't do me any good. Um, yeah, well, well, yeah. If you see Orlane, uh, Ferrix on the, on Discords and all that stuff. Don't, don't talk about Mel. Because <laughs> he'll just he, he talking did, yeah. to you about Mel for a while? Yeah, he'll talk to you about Mel. <laughs> he, 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 Let me he, tell he, you a little bit about Mel. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's such a great guy. Uh, like, So he's not here. Like, uh, We wanted to do this thing, yeah, and we completely yeah. forgot about it. So uh, just shout out to uh, 
Coraline, um, or Ferrix, or um, Death Bite Sparkle from TTS and all that stuff too. Though. He uh, he did tremendous throughout this this whole thing. He uh, four two four two no he four two the trilogy four two trilogy and then three there. three and then three three right or no two four it was two four two four, yeah. two, two, four um, um, was it because his Yoda dice yeah. were too too dirty or too too uh, worn out? So they were dirty. They were like too worn out. So worn people, out. People couldn't read them, so he got DQ'd a couple times. Yeah, so what happened? Just yeah, I'm, I'm just kidding. DQ'd. He literally showed us his Yoda dice, and they were just like <laughs> totally like he's he had like a sharpie on it, like this is a shield. Like he put a little. I'm just kidding. He didn't actually do that. He had to like tell. He had to like tell his opponent like this little. This is the part of the recap. This little, stuff up. Yeah. No, but it's like this little rip right here on the you know. Yeah, this one's like, the shield. You know. Because you notice that every other die side, there's no shield. So this one, it has to be the shield. And I'm like, he's what? Like, he's like rolling you, and he's like two damage, two melee. <laughs> Those are two special sides. Two special sides are right there. No, no, no. Hey, this is all. This is all fun and games, good sir. Um, uh, get, we need to get you two new Yoda dice. Too. Um, we need to message FFG. Um, um, but no, no. Uh, this is all in good fun. Uh, but everyone was making a good, good laugh in regards to his Yoda dice. So it was good. It was pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. My my from Panda Cast was just like, what? No one called you out on these that is Out of six do. people, no one questioned your dice. <laughs> oh, it was so good. He was a good guy. I played against him in trilogy. Day. I never got a get. I got a chance to. I, I played against like next to him, like in two different occasions, but I never got to play against my my from Panda Cast. But sad day. But I got to play. Yeah, we got to play uh, Command or uh, Cloud City Rollers wrecked. a lot. They mind. have like a group here, Cloud City Rollers. So, and their group is like amazing, by the way. It has like 12, 15 people. From 12, Cloud City. 15 people. They all have mats. They all have shirts on. Yeah, I played. They it. all have like, they they even put out promo things like, it tells you like to go to their website and stuff. Like it's amazing. Wow. That's really cool. That's pretty organized. That's so good. We need shirts. Let's go. Yes. Sure. First, I need to get these poker chips. <laughs> Are you talking about the late night game? <laughs> we need more of those. I've seen one. I, I've had people ask me for them. Like, yeah. when I'm playing, someone's like, hey, I, I want one of those. I'm like, I only got five. Sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it. I only got five. Your deck doesn't even have five power actions. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was one night. No, no, no uh, no, I asked uh, uh, yes, two because of fist. Yeah, yeah it's so, fist, fist. But he could, fist is unique, so it's only one. Fighting pit. Wait, that's the day. You don't have fighting pit. No, I, I think it's suicide uh, of phasma. Doesn't he it's do all flats. Well, that's a power action. It's all flats, fist. Power action. Watto. Yeah. Uh, you can fight. Watto. You, Wado, you can Wado, fighting Wado, pit Wado, the. Uh, if you ran fighting pit, you can fighting pit with the. The mega blasters? With the, no, with the special no. dice. Phasma's uh, yeah, power action dice. dice. Yes. And you don't take any damage. Oh, yeah, that's that's what yeah. I do in my yeah. my Phasma set. Yeah. Yeah, I play Phasma. Yeah. Is there you anything? You were wrecking me with that. Oh, yeah. I was, I, you're playing, you're like waiting, you know, <laughs> keeping those other first four Storm Trooper dice oh, out. So, so, wait. so we got to be like, Jesus, dude, he's just thinking about stuff. I'm just like, oh, I'll bring in smoke. I hit the two focus, fighting fit. You know, he's just because <laughs> he kept his little first yeah. order Storm Trooper die with like the two gun out there the whole time and I just forgot about so. it after you know 10 minutes so it was a trap like Jesus it's a I was a, that uh what was around four that we were all four at the same table that's what I was gonna say yes. I'm like dude like so the, awesome. the world's a lot uh, I mean the world's collided a lot the stars came aligned uh we all four got uh, put into the tables right next to each other eight and nine right yeah right eight tables eight and nine um so we got a nice picture and it just it was Hilarious on what so, happened. So it was so uh, Paul against McBobber versus our uh, those two against each other, and then myself against Luffy. And Paul's matches were crazy epic. 
uh, we were both, we were all just like laughing pretty much like I the whole so entire. And it was right after I had just like I, like yeah. untilted. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're, so you're, hard. Your you're commentary like, was the best because I was I was lit, you know you and I were just like chucking dice and yeah, the pool. We <laughs> you know like, like flipping this. Colm was over here and like over analyzing. I was like, this is a trap. I, I think he's leaving a trap. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why, why, why are you doing that? Yeah. That's a trap. <laughs> yeah, I'm just in my head, dude. Yeah. And oh, then, yeah. And then he's like, yeah, that's that's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> he's like sitting here, pass. <laughs> why do you pass? Why do you just pass? Then he, why did he pass there? Why is he passing? Why do you pass? And then I'm just like, I guess I'll take this for money. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and, then, and then we probably went a little bit and he's like, pass. <laughs> This is so, like, you guys are probably watching this, like, what are you doing? I just kept doing something, like, super good, like, he's going to stop me. Like, I, just, like, I, like, Senate chambered, like, the Dooku too money. Because I was close to a and I'm like, yes. But it just was so good, just, like, in general. Like, like we were, like, playing a pretty, like, uh, a nice ongoing game because we were playing mind games with each other, too. Right. Just because mitigation, our, uh, I was getting rid of pretty much every support he came out with <laughs> in any way, shape, and form. But then I hear, like, on the corner of my ear, Yep, it's fighting bit time! <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I couldn't keep trying. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and he's over here uh, fighting Pit, one of the loose uh, things from uh, a Mega Blast series, right? Yeah. So, uh, the loose boss died, so it doesn't do damage to him, and he's like, Whoa! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> There's too many triggers in this game right now. <laughs> It's like, what happened to the good old days, you know? Like, there's so many, like, you, power yeah. actions and shit on everything. Are, are you feeling triggered right now? Yes! <laughs> there's too many, there's so I many things uh, to keep track of. That's right, these are the good days. Yeah. yeah so that's, these are the good days, yeah. yeah. So the, like, I don't, this is where it gets to the community aspect, guys. Like, uh, overall, like, that whole, even though it was very stressful, and uh, taxing on all of us, especially because of flights and all that stuff that we did for the last couple of days. And the, the late night that we probably shouldn't have stayed up the night prior before we go and do this travel. Oh, 4 a.m. Yeah, 4 a.m. Yeah. But it's just... Um, 4 a.m. Central. Yeah. Uh, this is the stuff afterward is really where it really kicks in, like the, the meet and greets, the uh, just overall camaraderie that we get from the community. Um, and like, that's... I love the hell out of it, and that's why we foster this game, right? It's it's just so good, and the people that are involved with it are even better. Yeah, everything's been working out except for the the rat that was outside of the parking lot of our <laughs> See, we're even attracting rats. They want to play Destiny, but no, it was, it was, I mean that thing was like a cat. yeah, there was that, yeah, there was I mean, a, a big ass rat was right outside our hotel. It was very accommodating. I called it a mouse at first, but then I had to like really name it properly. It, it wanted a chauffeur a bags for it. That's how big it was. Like this thing is not a. That was not a mouse. Yeah. Okay, that was. No. Uh, no. Yeah. It was just great. Uh, like everyone that we went against was very, very promising. Like everyone. Like I didn't see anyone really get sour. Sour. Um, not, no, I didn't see anyone. <laughs> no, I'm not saying like that. But I'm not saying, other than poem, I guess. But it's just, uh, but no, it's not like, uh, not like that. But like everyone was incredible today. Um, everybody but poem, yeah. Yeah, it, it was a good vibe. I got tilted for about five minutes, and I don't need to even tell the whole story. Yeah, it, it involved milk. No. You know, but. I'm good. You know. Yeah. Life is good. There was a point there I, I thought, like, maybe I should, like, give you a hug to comfort you. <laughs> I decided not to. <laughs> Hold me back. Hold me back. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um, other than that, any last thoughts um, in regards to either either thing, we, if we left off something or... No. I just think convergence is lost. All right, DPS is lost. Thank you, you Susan. <laughs> I just think convergence is like has too many broken cards. Personally, I just think it's broken. Do you think it's the spirit of this? I just think there's too many broken things. That's you know, this I think Watto's broken. Mm -hmm. I think Watt's kind of broken. That's next set. I think Four Storms broken. And I think Entourage is broken. And then you combine that with Snoke being broken and Fist no being broken. 
and no answer being broken. And like now you've got like too many broken. They're just like, and they all kind of like go together and stuff. Uh, it's so, just too many broken things. But that's what I'm thinking with the, with this game because right now I know they're trying to go to like get to wider, right? Go try to get longer games and that kind of stuff. That's not where it's at right now because they're trying to put the pieces in place, right? But right now, I think just because of this introduction of all these like high-end cards, but now when you think about it, Entourage now really supports the support deck. No matter what, it completely supports it. So now you can ramp with that. But that you, again, it's telegraphing what you're doing for the whole rest of the next two rounds, right? Unless some jerk brings Lando and dismantles it. Yeah, or dismantles <laughs> all day, man. <laughs> but uh, if you have, uh, if you're playing that mill deck, you already know you have no answer should be in there, so guess what you should be doing? Try not to go down to one damn card. That's or keep them off the resource. Uh, huh? That's what I beat. Or keep them off the resource. I, I, beat, the, I beat the mill player by keeping him off his resource when he had like four cards in his hand the entire time. I was actually fo I was focusing into Snoke's uh, disrupt side. Yeah, see the thing is like we're we're like I get it that there, there's a lot of like crazy stuff for supports, crazy stuff for uh, mill. Right now, we're trying to find that hero, whatever it is that they're trying to make. Hopefully, hope to God, even though this Order 66 stuff that's about to come out is anti-hero, but... You are speed it. Yeah, well, we're gonna, we're gonna see if, um, you know, they come out with some type of crazy hero card that we can play with Blue Hero again to make it that type of melee aggro deck. But hey, just like we were saying before, we have two big littles that just happened in this in this standard. Don't want, uh, well, I mean, big, I don't think Pop Watt, good. does I mean, Pop Watt run Entourage? You don't get bursted Pop down. No. You don't Pop get Watt. bursted down to a fist when you're a big little. Yeah. You know, you have three little, you know, you have a Snoke Water Foss thing and it's like, oh, oh, I took eight to, to what? Or to Watto. Okay. Yeah. Like, fist came in and, you know, and they did some other shit. It's like, okay. Mm -hmm. I can't snuff him next round, but you know it was, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> and, that, and that's how she was. You know, she's playing well with that, and then she had a lot of overwriting. You know, she would overwrite the help saber. That's so know, good, with, by the way. You should always do that. Oh yeah, right. help saber is there to be overwritten. That's it. You right. can even overwrite it with itself to get paid two dollars. Yep. Money, money, money. That's my flower play. That, no, it's, it's real. Good, 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 good news for you, mom. Whatever. Your playmate got brought. Somebody at the uh, brewery found it. Nice. But um, uh, just in general, oh yeah. So my finish my thought on that part is the fact that everything has its thing. That's what it is. Like everything has a ultimate thing to use on its format, mm -hmm. except for hero. <laughs> Um, and that's where I think that they're trying to do. They're trying to have kind of like Exodia like things. You know, try to quote. Mm -hmm. Yu Gi Oh stuffs. Hey, if you can get this off, you're probably gonna, it's gonna be very favorable for you. But if you don't, because your opponent knows what's gonna be coming, then you can do this, this, this. I don't know. That's just that's just my type of dynamic with it. I don't know how, like. I, I think it's more clear cut in Trilogy. In Trilogy, there's kind of a rock, scissors, papers between all the villain decks. Yeah. Because Hero's kind of out of the picture. But I, I think Pop, the help deck goes well into the support decks. The support decks do really good against the Phasma decks, and the Phasma deck goes really good against Help. And it might be the same thing here. If you had two big littles that, you know, top the tables, yeah. both Vader and Help are good against three wide support. Yeah, they are. Because it's harder to knock out their it's harder to knock out their threat right away. I'd be curious to see um, when we get Spark of Hope where Hero gets to. I see three PO seems really, really good. Mm -hmm. But they need like some big supports. Well, and that's yeah. what I like, like I said about um, clone. They they clone needed Mando squad like the, Omega blasters for new clones, new ghosts. Heroes. Well, they needed they needed Yoda's fist, and they gave you Yoda's ghost. <laughs> and you know it doesn't do much. It's just a whole bunch of focus. Yeah, yeah. Focus is good. Yeah, I still think that thing is going to have a around. That's me. Yoda's ghost. Yeah. I think I think it's going to have I I I. I want a ghost. Yeah, they should make like a ghost deck. Like, no, no. Ghost ghost no, I don't mean like that. Rebels. I mean ghost the ship. Yeah, they, oh, need, they, need, a, they need a hero a ghost. Yeah. No, like we're doing for new hero. We have a shadow. We have a shadow. Yeah, we have a shadow. There's a ghost. There's a ghost card. It's really bad. That, I know, that's what I'm saying. Okay, new but one. new because right. you know, not yeah. infinite. Good idea. 
So, so I would tell my probe story, but I'll just say that there is a probe story. There's probe stories. <laughs> That's as far as I'll get. Stories right. of people being probed. There are stories of people being probed and people thinking probe is too good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this has gone on way too long. Um, but no, just in general, guys, uh, thank you so much for tuning in, as always. Um, please like, subscribe, Late Night Gaming. Like, just again, like, I'm always on their stuff because it's pretty damn incredible. Um, only in it for McFlower Stacks. Um, so it should, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, but no, Late Night Gaming is just incredible, as you can tell, just camaraderie, and just we're always trying to figure out to improve um, uh, the game state itself, uh, as well as community build accordingly. Also too, so just check them out. I would stress you do it. Um, and I'll we'll leave with who should we kill in Snoke uh, Wat or Snoke Watto Foss first? Go Snoke. Snoke. You can point at me, but it's Snoke. 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 Oh, when, they, when they see, I see them going for yeah, the good first storm storm turbo. I'm like, this game's over. Uh, <laughs> well, well, right. well, I will say that. You, what you don't want to kill is Watto. You don't want to attack Watto because you're very unlikely to be able to stop him by round two. Yeah. And if you can, if you can Snoke Watto twice, he's done to death. Exactly. Uh, if, if, you can, if, you, if you can kill the Stormtrooper, <laughs> probably Watto. Yeah, they're not going to be able to do seven against me with my 15 removal right. on turn one. And like, I mean, Fist, I guess, can come in high. Like Vader sometimes will attack. Yes. You know, if he rolls like a 4-3, I'd just take care of the Stormtrooper. I think Vader, if he kills Snoke on turn two, like, Snoke a lot of boss, like, I don't, I don't think they win. If he can just, like, murder Vader, or murder Snoke. It, it's hard when you have a kill on a character who's not taken. Right. So they have to say, okay, yeah. I can kill this guy, I'm not going to with this, this other guy instead. If you know the list and you know if they have best defense, yeah. you know, then maybe... Right, it turns out that start pumping in the oh yeah Faust. oh yeah again you don't want to walk in you don't want to do six in the Faust and then have them best Damn, oh god that's when, that's when <laughs> you lose don't do it hey guys but truly is appreciated thank so. you so much late uh late night gaming guys yep. and we'll catch you guys next time on the battlefield so. peace hey yo welcome back to the battlefield one i'm your smoke and we're doggy dancing we're back with poem well, big baba we just dropped off uh, Loopy, um, and Orlane uh, disappeared. So wherever you went, man, you have my right shields. <laughs> <laughs> they are on comments, yeah. dude. I love you, <laughs> but I need them. I'm kidding. <laughs> I need them. But um, it's just uh, no. Uh, so I wanted to recap exactly day two of the GQ. Uh, just trying to see the feelings, all that kind of stuff too. Um, do the same thing that we did as of last video. Um, yeah, we're all dead tired, just to straight up tell you. Uh, it's been a long couple days, um, another long day tomorrow. But, yeah, man. Yeah. Um, Want to so, talk standard? Or yeah, let's, uh, so, so today, uh, just go over the brief overview of it, right? Is uh, day two was standard uh, GQ portion first, and then an infinite portion. Um, and, uh, yeah, no one participated in pods from our group, right? Other than uh, Loopy, Loopy. Loopy. Loopy did like a very short, quick three rounds of... He said that they all agreed to just not play any mitigation. Wow. It's just whatever your shit rolls. Yeah, yeah you just... He said he played like three rounds with, with Infinite Vader in like 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> three games. Whatever yeah. god deal that he made, <laughs> apparently it worked. <laughs> but, uh, but other than that, that was really about it. Um... Uh, today was just a completely different story compared to yesterday, um, so I'll let everyone else kind of like tell what they did. But uh, so we'll start with standard. Um, home, how'd you do? What did, what'd you run? What'd you run? I did snow quantum fast again. Snow quantum fast. Uh, not because it was like a, like the right thing to do. It's just I didn't have all my stuff here. It's not like I was gonna pivot to something. Um, but I four two again, and my two losses were like just so close. Um, just one action away from setting up the Forsaken on a thing, lost by one action ultimately in the, against Padme Boosh, which is kind of a tough ma tough matchup for the three wide. He got Moxie down turn one and just, you know, it was just, it was real close, real, real close. And um, what, what'd you go against on the other lock? 
the other loss was to the same guy that beat me yesterday. Um, so it's the Lore Annie Leia Mill deck. Same oh, guy. The five and right? The, it's it's not five dice. It's four dice. Oh wow! But it, the issue there is in some key rounds, you know, you're, you're hoping to maybe discard their hand. Okay. Where you you know it happened, where I rolled Watto out, I hit discard, and you know I had a board state set up, and but the lower power action is you know just getting that additional card draw, uh, that that really helps them. Um, he got Senate Chamber and Antipod down on turn one. Oh wow. Um, Okay. So you know you're 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 going up against basically getting locked out. I did get a fist to stick okay. on turn one. Um, it was a really close game. I I don't remember. I think you know at the very end I had a bunch of dice out. You know, and he was you know didn't have a hand, but he had a Senate Chamber power action. I had mine too. Okay. But then I just I calculated all the dice damage out. You know, even if I max focused everything, I was one damage short. Freaking nuts, man. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, it was. You know, I just think the Snoke Lotto Foss is really good, but it's not like fantastic into mill. Um, I think. Yeah. Just if you to take that to like my my analysis of that is just make Bobber what he did in trilogy where he you know, just ramped out a bunch of supports. Like, seems like it could be a way to deal with with Mill as being a weakness to the ramp decks. Um, so, and even in standard, something like that in standard uh, going forward, just like more of a spam the, spam the board strategy. So I'm curious to see if that can work. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Yep. Big Bobber. What'd you get, man? What'd you do? So, uh, I did the uh, Phasma Sentinel again. Much like Quam, because that's that's what I had, and uh, it went better this time. Um, I ended up going five one, and um, my loss was to the uh, the Rainbow Snoke. That definitely seems to be the the deck that gives me the most problems. Just with Phasma in general, or just like any time you face with, it. With Phasma, I think that's a real strong deck in general. Phasma, right. and you got Phasma and no uh, retribution, right? Yes. Um, I I think like. It seems really matchup dependent what you're doing. Like he's he's saying the the rainbow snow is bad against no. I, I feel like Phasma is pretty good against no, but you know it just depends who you get matched against. And it's only six games. Only six games. So I, I think that's part of why it went better for me to, today than, than yesterday. But um, that's destiny, you know. Yeah, I love it. Um, I'm just so happy for McBauer. Like you know, three three. He's just feeling down. I don't know if that was good enough. From yesterday, right? And you know, three three yesterday, and then it's just like he goes you know, fire we were trying one. to like <laughs> we were panicking to try to you know see if we can get him something else built, and then he just like five ones with Thousand and Sentinel. The same one. Same no, no, no card change. Not a single card change. It's just it's not I was second place. Not that that really means anything to you, but. Big Bobber, great there player, man. Yeah, man, change schedule, put you a second. Love it. How's it feel? I mean, it's not as good as that trilogy went. I mean, <laughs> I mean we're lucky to have this Any guy. loss is a loss. Um, <laughs> but it's fun to play. You know, yeah. on, our, on our squad. Yeah, man. Um, I went 4-2. Uh, wait, yeah, 4 Wait. Did I go 4-2? Yeah, I went 4-2. I went 4-2 with... Uh, Again, a completely different deck. I didn't run Lando this time. I probably should have, but um, but I wanted to just do something else and try to see test the meta. And it was DJ one die, Foss one die, Sentinel Messenger one die, with taking ground just to make sure I get it with Mean Streets. So you can tell you already know from Mean Streets doing Mean Street stuff. Um, but uh, so four two, uh, I went against three different Foss. Uh, our uh, Snow Glottal Foss okay. and beat it. Um, you beat it three times. Three times. That's so sick. Um, beat a Vader the other time. They, they roll in more dice on Mega Blasters. You're like, thanks. Yeah, you catch those in. <laughs> That's like, more keep, damage for me. Keep rolling in, please. <laughs> um, I think it's just loaded with removal. Like, yeah. Your own dice, it's like you don't even want to roll anything out. No. No, it has a whole lot of just straight mitigation in it, and it just worked out very well. Like, anticipating that portion of the meta, like Snow, Snow Quantifoss, uh, I played another guy too uh, beforehand, which was uh, 
Padme Leia. No issues as well. Yeah, I, I find with Padme in general, like, removal really shuts her down. Yeah. Like, she's, she's, she's just her dice. You get rid of those and there's nothing left. So good. Um, uh, so, but, again, with that deck, though, uh, there's an ultimate issue with it, um, and that would be Nick Bobber's deck, which is the, uh, but actually, let me kind of take that back. It's just anything with retribution on it. Like, so I'm able to do a right, an indirect damage for anything that I remove from them, but they're able to do a direct damage anytime I remove a character die from them. So all my individual removal cards kind of became null and void because then I'm not getting a, a value out of it technically um, because they're able to snipe down DJ ahead of time. So that's just a portion I didn't in, anticipate, to be honest. Uh, both losses were to uh, Phasma Sentinel. So. If it wasn't for retribution, like if we could have a card that could blow up a plot, you'd be you'd be, you'd be golden, right? Yeah, it'd be, it would be it would have been clean. Or like, just, get or just, thing out of here. yeah. So one of the matches that Me I want to one of the, one of the ones that I want to get to was with, against McBobber, which he knew my deck because we, uh, we were all testing accordingly uh, beforehand, and uh, uh, I'm telling you what though, like don't get me wrong, he knew to play every single die, anything that came up damage, he does one single individual die damage as much as possible. Uh, because it, like my, one of the most epic plays of today was um, getting someone with eight dice out with uh, Scorched Earth, Deja Vu, for 16 damage to win a match is the <laughs> best ever. That is so epic. That might... That and Loopy's winning on his first killing Yoda on his first action in Infinite. <laughs> yes, so <laughs> good. That was some of the most ridiculous things I've heard for a while. Yeah. We'll tell that story later. Yeah, but other than that, um, yeah. So other than that, uh, Orlane. Do we, do you know what Orlane got? Uh, Death Light Sparkle. I think he. I'm not sure what his record I don't think he did super well in standard. He did pretty yeah. good in yeah. Infinite. Oh, I think he went 2-4, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. What's he doing like in Infinite? What did he do? In Infinite, I think he was like... Well, it was like five games. I think he was like 3-2. Because his last game was against me. That was my last game. Right. But, yeah, so all in all, like the team did pretty damn well. Uh, you know, nothing less than pretty much... Well, 3-2, you know what I mean? So nothing less than 3-2. So it's not two, bad. 4-2, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, 4-2. And mm. the standard? Oh yeah, well for him, yeah. So for us three, yeah. and and uh, Loopy, Loopy got four, I think too. Yeah. Four two? Sure. Yeah, he got the same. He got the same thing I did. So yeah, we're no, all four no, two. yeah, we're all yeah. four two or above. Uh, yeah. Except for Orlane, huh? In standard, yeah. yeah, yeah, in standard. Um, other than that, like, what do you guys think of the standard? Like, what was different from yesterday's standard to this t today's standard? I don't know. Anything yeah. different? I don't think so. Like, I saw a lot of the same decks. The, the matchups were different for me, but like, even though Palpatine Watto won the first day, it wasn't like everybody was playing Palpatine Watto the second day. I I didn't even run into that deck, so I don't know. I wasn't like sitting up at the you know at the top table today, so I, I you people know were just playing with oh. the lights. If people were watching the stream, you know, monk monk fans out there, you know, were watching the stream. Mm. You got Rainbow Snokes and you got Phasmas. Yeah. There's a lot of Phasmas. There are so many Phasma retributions. I played three Phasma Mirrors today. Why did, so why did they come out? Why? What, yeah. was the, what was the reason? I think it was the Cloud City Rollers. Like, don't get me wrong, like, great, great group of people. Apparently their community is amazing because you obviously can tell. Um, so good kudos to that. I'm actually really jealous. Um, but, oh, their community yeah. is insane. Freaking insane. I mean, uh, they all have mats. They all have shirts. They're just decked out. Epic, man. They're like, mm -hmm. hella have like just so much like pride in like yeah. the whole thing. I love it. Yeah, but they, no, they I want to touch you. I think something like happened, like, uh, you know, tell me in, in like, uh, in Facebook and all stuff if that's true, guys, because it's going to be out. Uh, Facebook or YouTube, so whatever the hell, comment below. But it's uh, like, you guys like put out like a message that, hey, let's all go do this. I, uh, that's information that I got that, that certain people just went, yeah, let's all do this. And you guys all brought uh, Phasma Sentinel for at least majority of majority of you did, but that's I'm like man, okay, well I wish I got that memo right <laughs> before oh. I can. <laughs> but DJ, I can. Yeah. yeah, but uh, yeah. but no, overall, uh, 
smoked one of Fox one today. Mm -hmm. So no surprise, which I'm very great deck. Come on, man. <laughs> but it's a really okay, good yeah. deck. I mean, yeah. he probably didn't have to play that guy I played. No offense. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I, mean, I think it was You know, it's right? like, you know, the dude I was playing was so intelligent. Like, there was, everything was being calculated. Yeah. If you play, go up against a highly skilled mill player with that deck, you're gonna, you're probably not going to win. Like, like, <laughs> I know how to play Rainbow Snoke. Like, yeah. it's just always done, it's always been a little clunky against mill, in my opinion. That's why I pivoted off of it in last mana. Because, like, AR, it makes you stick a thing down on turn one. Like, Beckett, AR, I have a thing. Yeah. And, you know, I only have one, you can't flames it. Like, I have a thing, I'm getting my thing. Whereas, like, in some of this, you know, McBobber's thing where he's doing, I have four supports in my hand. You can't I'm scruffy you them out. out. You know, <laughs> or whatever. Like, that's in Trilogy, but same concept. Like, when you're trying to get a Mega Blaster Troopers, a, you know, whatever the other one, Fist, Entourage, like, you have a narrow, like, focus there. Um, it's just too easy for them to scruffy, like, scruffy you first turn, scruffy you second turn, like. And by the way, you need to be doing that. And then you finally that. get your Fist, <laughs> you resolve it a couple times the next round. I, what I did was I activated, I claimed a little bit early and I, Pull my probe, you know, I had the fist down, and I probed him, first action, boom. And I hit two cards, I got an easy pickings, and some other crap, his second senate chamber, and then his next action, flames the past. So, gets my fist. So there's, it's just, the fist, you know, is, is similar to like a fat vehicle. Yep. You know, it's your you are putting a lot of resources in one thing that can be sunk. You know, and so that's something to consider. The entourage package, it's a, you know you're investing three resources in something. You're you know you're you're bringing in those one costs. You're spamming out. You have focus on your stuff. Oh, you get locked out by a senate chamber. You have Wada. You can get a you know. Oh, I'll just try this reroll. So I just I'm. I'm I'm ready to like just retire, like not retire it, but I I, I want to try different approaches to like ramp decks no, I that understand. aren't like so easy to sink. No, sorry that for that rant, but no, yeah. no it was good. But no, if Nick Bobber said it was good, good then <laughs> then it's good. <laughs> well, not that most said it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a, it's really just an ongoing joke at this point. We know, we're we're half kidding. We we just really. We gotta give the big bobber love out, you know. First yeah. tournament. It's a go, man. First tournament ever. <laughs> first, first GQ, legitimately of the day ever. Six zero. That's so legendary. So good. <laughs> um. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, so yeah, so Snoke bought a fast one. Uh, for the day, Lucas uh, Litzinger came back out. So again, good shout out to Lucas Lucas for coming out because. Uh, I know he's a local to the parts, so... I got to play him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's such a great guy. You know what I mean? So, uh, a lot of appreciation, all this stuff for him coming out. Um, and, uh, so again, I did ask him... Sorry, I asked him what his favorite card was. What is it? And it's... Because uh, he, he filled me twice and just got both my price of failures, turn one, turn two, in this in the infinite. Okay, what's a uh, uh, fill? If friends, anyone, low, that friends in low places. Okay. You know, uh, discard an event that costs one or less? Yes, one or less. The opponent's okay, hand. spot yellow from the opponent's hand. And so he just pulls my price of failure, you know. Twice. And when I'm, I'm, I, I need to do three more damage into, into Palp, you know. I'm just ready. I've got a, a Ancient and a Vader Saber. I'm just ready to just kill this Greedo that I don't care about. And get two damage off of him, hopefully, and... And then just wreck him, and it's just oh, Phil, you know, get wrecked. So, <laughs> um, but his favorite card, Afra. That's, that was his answer. I thought that was a really good answer. All right, that's interesting. Yeah, I like it. I mean, game designer. That's his favorite card. I think it's, it makes sense. No. Yeah. Um. It does anything else you guys want to say about standard? 
I know we ran into a little bit more. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. All right. So uh, then we went to an infinite round. So our uh, infinite portion of the GQ, where again it's the wild west of everything, um, which happened to be just crazy nuts. Uh, I had an amazingly blast time. Oh, yeah. uh, with like every single opponent, like everyone just was laughing all over the place. Um, uh, the one that won that one was uh, Vader, right? It was a Vader off. I believe so. Yeah, Vader, a Red Vader. It was a Red Vader off with the Artificery team. So again, great shout out to Artificery for getting that done. It was Das and uh, Yeti from Artificery. Um, so good kudos from them uh, in top tables. Um, and I know Yeti was able to take it off. Uh, you guys can watch that on their live stream. Uh, probably the recording now. Uh, it was them literally going back and forth, uh, fighting pitting each other. <laughs> that is legit. Please go watch it. I need to still watch it. I just heard it secondhand, and it was just hilarious. They were just yelling and screaming, and everyone was laughing. <laughs> uh, so I was at the table right next to that, and. It was like five minutes in, oh, and I look oh. over and I just see a dead, dead Vader. I'm like, I guess I should be playing like Vader Red yeah. instead of Vader Yellow. Like, how was he dead? How was he killed? How did he kill him already? He doesn't even have an upgrade. Like, <laughs> what happened? I was gonna reach the stars, is what I said because I I couldn't see. Yeah, I was like a J. You know, I wasn't like next to him. I was like adjacent. Yeah, but so apparently I found out about this fighting pit. But but in <laughs> short, in short, it was literally them. Um, uh, take turn, roll out, take turn, roll out, fighting pit, uh, uh, fighting pit, okay, I claim, switch it up, all right, here we go, I roll out, I roll out, fighting pit, all right, okay, I claim, and that, it, like, that literally was it, apparently, so that, you know, that's pretty amazing, yeah, pretty amazeballs to me, um, that's fun. just crazy sportsmanship, like, you know what that's I mean, so same people on the same team, so it just worked out well, um, other than that, though, Poem. Thank you. I had fun and got wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you run? I did the Vader. Vader. I, really, I just didn't get to play Vader in the last meta because yeah. I was on the vehicle reset. Yeah. So. Vader, what, the, Vader what though? Vader what though? Vader Greedo. I didn't, there was no spice. It was just Vader Greedo. I just played it. Um, I got to play Lucas. That was fun. I don't know. What was always I, we forget, I forgot to say what Lucas was writing for. So what he was, was doing Palpato. Palpato, the new pop, right? Pal, yeah, I mean, I had the, I had I had just Max rolled. Pop two. And he just drops a force illusion, and I'm showing oh, nine, okay. I'm showing okay. nine damage <laughs> with two modifiers. You know, three on the ancient, yeah, 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 three yeah. on the Vader saber, and I have the three on on Vader. And I'm like, I roll nine. I'm like, oh, that's fucking go, dude. <laughs> Drops a force illusion. <laughs> he's almost dead, you know. He's got yeah. just hardly any health. He was living the dream of that out. And then I just killed the Watto. Because I just, I, you know, it just was a perfect number. You know, nine and nine. I killed the bee guy or whatever he is. He's not a bee. <laughs> Bird. Flying. Thing. Thing. I'll just kill him. And then all the shenanigans started happening and I lost. I got you. Alright. Poor Illusion is good. Yeah, no, no, Infinite, no. man. Illusion's still there. I'm just ready yeah. not to, like, think about Infinite or Trilogy or what. I just, like, want to figure out Standard. Yeah. So. Bob, what'd you run? So I was doing, uh, Snow Tarkin. Not that much of a signing deck, but, um, that was something that'd be easy for me to run. I yeah. had another deck I was thinking of that I liked a lot. It was Pandiota, but, um, I did not run it because it's Kind of complex and what you need to do and I, if you make a mistake it can ruin your whole plan so i wanted to just do something easy so uh and it, it went pretty well uh we only did five games i did went four one with it yeah four so, one four one so yeah it's no yeah. target it's a real good duck it's a lot of the, the one that beat me with the mirror so it's so good it's good you had a chance i mean you rolled out the fist there at the end right and yeah it hit, it hit. You so. needed the indirect on it, something like that. Yeah, that was it. You needed the indirect. Real close. Yeah, and that. you got the range. Right. I need the indirect. You still killed the snow, but it just it wasn't. And right. then the guy. Right. <laughs> you want to tell the story? I don't know. What? You got to tell the claim story with the. Which one? Wait. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Come on. 
Yeah. So, uh, so the turn, <laughs> the turn before that, before he uh, rolled out. Was the it base. before that? Okay. Yeah, it was right before. Yeah. It. Um, he goes out uh, and <laughs> he wanted to get the the final damage out, but apparently uh, he had enough. Like he got mitigation to get that damage away just to finally end the match. He's like, ah. I claim, and then it like it blows and, like everything up <laughs> off of the freaking table. Like, it was kind of like one of those movie scenes where he's like, <laughs> like almost like messing up the whole entire board state. Um, he just smashed yeah. the table. I yeah. claim, yeah. yeah. And then it's just like, <laughs> yeah, he has an exhausted mega blaster troopers that fight. <laughs> I had expected it to be a crater where the battlefield was. <laughs> but it was like a thunderous, uh, you know, these are like the pop-up tables, right? <laughs> pop-up plastic uh, fold-out tables. So they're like, <laughs> you see everything fly, and it was just hilarious. There was like, there was like 20 people gathered around this table, yeah. too. And, and everyone's like, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, but it was good. It was yeah. good times, man. Um, yeah, yeah, it looks like that match was a blast, though. Yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, and then that that rollout though just made it made it clutch. The fact that he just got the range versus the oh, so uh, he actually told me like some spikes that he was trying to do. So he literally when he rolled out the Mega Blasters turn one for his side after that claim, mm -hmm. when he said, "All right, blanks," he really wanted blanks. They could darken it. No anger. Oh. So he can anger it. Oh, yeah. okay. So well, he, he already angered me once in that match. Yeah, he already ha he had anger again in his hand. Yeah. So good kudos to that guy. He's like, he's like, if you, if just in case, if you rolled out something, I could have easily angered it to you back. Nice. And so, I'm like, yeah. dang, that's that's clutch. You know what I mean? But he didn't end up rolling the double blanks. Um, he rolled damage sides. Uh, yeah. Two, no, like a damage side disrupt in, in a blank. I think it was enough damage. But, yeah, it was enough damage. Yeah. Um, so it's just it was a close game. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. close. He's a real good player too. Yeah, it's fun good. to play against. I played against him in, in standard also, and he, we were also mirrored there with Phantom Sentinel. So yeah, 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 yeah. You both. Yeah, yeah. You we kind of had a nice. running gag. We kept doing the same things. <laughs> you two were the my two losses for the day. <laughs> um. Uh. Anything else? I think that's it. Right. I mean, the infinite was a lot of fun. It was crazy. It was so fun. So my, I, my first game, I went up against uh, Mace Ahsoka, and I forgot about Mace's action. It was the old Mace, so he he killed Tarkin when I wasn't expecting. It's power action, you did. Yeah, I just removed was died. Tarkin was dead. I thought the game was over, but I ended up coming back with the Mega Blaster Troopers, and I I spiked Ahsoka when he, he had an ancient lightsaber, but he forgot about that card that he heals. So oh, like, it was mistakes God. all over the place. We were there was a guy I found out infinite. he was hiding. You know, there, his opponent was hiding behind some shields and stuff and kept shielding up. I just kind of like was walking by, and then he finally was like, Mace, action, I removed the die. And, you know, or like the old, was it the old Mace? Yeah. And he yeah. defeats the character uh -huh. with one or less health that was like high, kept getting shielded up. He's like, I could have done that three rounds ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Only an infinite. Guy. <laughs> Jeez. That was a good. That was a good one. Yeah. I haven't told that story yet. It's tough because, like, <laughs> even back when Mace was new, like, you couldn't play him a whole lot. He was so expensive. Yeah, he, he didn't have expensive. a good like two die. You, you couldn't play a two die partner with him, so yeah. he wasn't very popular. So, so they I wanted to do like Moz. Right? I lost. But you yeah. only do one die. You could only do one die Moz, which was just so horrible. I lost. That was one of my yeah. losses in infinite was to Mace Ahsoka, and he's doing. The cell flats. Yeah. And he rolls out. He rolls a, a you know four speed, and the and the two modifieds. Uh -huh. And I think I I mo I, I admit it, I doubted one of the twos. Yeah. Which seemed like a good play. I'm like oh, I'll doubt that. You know. I kept my doubt because I was playing against so okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh okay. A four speed, rolls in hits a hits a two. Mm. And then he. Um, he, I don't know. I, I think he salt flats. I, f I forget what the sequence was now. Is it four speed and then salt flats? Turn and then four. turned and then. Turned yeah. out of four and then. Turned like out of four or eight. and he did like eight. Yeah. And then it, it was just like stuff like. Oh, it was, it was off of the Lothwolf. 
Oh, okay. Or something like that. So he had them both activated at the same time. Got it. So he Loth Wolves, activates both. Damage. That was in the second round he did that. Loth Wolf, activate both, and then he goes to 10 and does 10 Invader. <laughs> I'm just like, good. I'm like, I have one health left on Vader. <laughs> and I haven't damaged any of his like characters. I'm just like, okay. Seems good. I don't think I'm gonna win this game. Yeah. Like so you got like eight on you know, I I, I don't know, it was it was yeah. it was not good. Friggin' nuts, man. Um uh, I ran oh is it I went uh three two uh on this on infinite just wanted to just have a whole lot of fun. Just like I called my deck stupid. Literally, that's hmm. what it was. Uh, went Lando, uh, L- Lando Biggs AR uh, for the Falcon, just to roll out and do a planet planet explosion at any moment's notice. Um, and uh, it worked out, as you can see, three out of two times to- or three <laughs> out of five times. Yeah. Um, uh, the other two times was just not rolling. Lando and the Falcon wasn't rolling the, the damage and or the 10 that I needed. Um, the rest were me just doing bits of damage uh, to, to shields or a nice little, uh, someone was awesomely smart, which I absolutely love that kid for doing in my last match. Uh, he went like a full like battle droid package. So he had two, two battle droids, a Greedo and a super battle droid. Wow. With Arena of Death. And he did not care like anything about mitigation or anything like that. Again, he was ramping the whole time. So he's like playing um uh no, no, so he tech team, tech team, first first, uh, I love first that. game, yeah. our first actions of the game to uh hired mu- or uh hired muscle. So three three no matter what damage to a the one that gives indirect damage the three indirect damage to an attrition to like all that stuff for all his turns just doing that and uh it was yeah it just worked because all my whole job i had no mill i I had no other sides on my dice with that uh other than killing his characters so i won roll off i was able to have uh mean streaks for a couple rounds he knew orders Changes it up. I've already killed two characters at the time, so he, he does two indirect to me. Plus the damage he's already got done. So I'm at like five he or wants, six on Lando. He wants you to take your battlefield so he can play the new orders. He did, yeah. So right. the new order. Because so then, then he gets the effect on the battlefield, well, and right, and then he can claim and get the effect again. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, but yeah, so it worked out completely in his favor. That's awesome. But no, I literally killed... Uh, I was about to kill his other character. I had everything rolled out, but he's just like, "Well, I guess I just claim and kill you." <laughs> Same last words. I'm like, "Great, thanks." There's three, uh, three indirect to kill uh, bigs on that last hand. You know, just these, so these battlefields right now, guys. Like, I mean, that's infinite, but I don't know. Like, changing the battlefield. I think there was a wasn't there a spoiler that came out? No, there's oh. a, a nice picture. There's nothing that shows yeah. what it is yet. We don't know, but it looks like a hyperspace type. Uh, but there's there's not something to change the battlefield or something like that so. across. No, I don't think so. Nothing new. No, I think there was it wasn't. I thought it was a spoiler. It's like a pay one kind of thing. I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, I'm not saying. Yeah. But I'm not saying you're wrong. I just don't remember it. <laughs> but well, you guys can keep talking about something. Like that. <laughs> you gotta verify. But no, other than that, it was like it's just a crazy wild show match. A whole lot of mean streets uh, abuse. Um, I went against a, uh, old Ahsoka, uh, Ahsoka one, uh, Luke deck, uh, Luke, uh, three, old man Luke deck. And that thing was freaking brutal. Like, ridiculously brutal. Like, he goes, Lothwolf Lothful bonds out. He got both two shield sides on, on, on old man Luke and a two on Ahsoka. And then he was able to re-roll into more damage. Uh, so he was able to get out eight that round right to Lando. And I'm like, okay, this sounds good. And I got out miscellaneous damage because I didn't roll crap that round. 
I uh, was able to get out like four or five indirect damage, which put, uh, like, which put Luke in perfect range for planned explosion that next round. Roll out, got the 10, killed Luke. He's like, oh God, I thought I had this match. And I'm like, ah, it's a nice game. So I was mistaken, it's ambush, spot a trooper to take control of the battlefield. It doesn't no. swap battlefields. That's that is a good part though. Yeah, yeah. it's zero cost too, isn't it? Or is it one? No, it's zero. One. Ambush, take it's control. Zero. Oh, it's zero? That's really good. Yeah. Take control. It's almost just like a, it, Zero ambush. It's a race ability. Take control. Oh, it's a race ability. You, you know, you get you can use battle control cards. And it's, it's, zero. it's better than race ability. And that's incredible. Because mm -hmm. you have to pay one. Use uh, salt flats or I mean zero. McBobber likes zero cost cards. He does. <laughs> <laughs> I might try to work that in somewhere. Yeah. But no. Um, yeah. Other than that, what do you guys think about uh, infinite format? Since we actually. Got a competitive scene up in there. Man, it's it's crazy. I mean, it's very crazy. There's so many options. I, I'm sure there's. I, I don't want to say infinite more decks, but yeah. there's there's a lot more decks out there that I think could be good. I did not see one uh, one of the mill decks. Yeah, no mill. Like I, I had some Tarkin just shuts down the mill deck. Yeah. Yep. So people are off the mill now. I guess so. Yeah. Like, I had some decks I wanted to bring, and I'm like, oh, these probably aren't going to get Mill. I, I shouldn't do it. And there was no Mill. Should have done it. Yeah. But uh, it was a tremendously different uh, different set of things for today on both Standard and Infinite. Let a lot less people. Um, yeah. A lot less people compared to day one. It was like 17 tables? Yeah. Uh, or less. Or less. Oh, for Infinite. For yeah. Infinite, yeah. it was 30 people. Yeah. 30 people, so that's like 15. 15? 15, 15. 15. 15. All right. Good God, man. It was all one room. Like, the, the all the other ones were, there were two rooms. Yeah, they're all doing room. pods. They're all doing pods, everyone else. They're like, forget infinite. Yeah. Let's just grind. <laughs> um, I didn't get to be one pod. I kind of wanted to. Yeah, same. But it seemed like they're fun, but like, they happen at the same time. Man. What can you do? Yeah. Infinite was fun, though. Especially, like, no, like, this isn't the right mindset, but losing my first game. Yeah. Takes the pressure off, and then I'm just let's go having a good time. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah. Let's see. Uh, no, just congratulations. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was a Vader off of the end. Are we missing anything? I think we covered our bases. Other than what about Loopy, like how he did, maybe we can like speak for Loopy on the. Didn't he go four one too? I mean, he was like, where he made it all the way to the top. Yeah, he was 4 1. Like, he was 4 1 on the monk, That's where we were like congratulating him. Made it to the monk stream, yeah. you know, table two. I think so. With the, uh, he, he beat me and the Vader off. That was a fun one. He fighting pit and hit a four and hit a blank. On so, Vader. top, top. Whole story. <laughs> did he, and did he go against Vader too? I think it, all, all of them were Vader. They I don't know what he played against. But Vader's yeah. were good. Yeah. But I just barely beat one Vader. With, with that stuff darkened. Like, the Vader wants to kill you, he's just gonna kill you. Like, he's just gonna roll threes and threes and fours, and it's real. You yeah. can't do anything. Vader, yeah, Vader just dominated this this uh, little short GQ. So, Vader's really good. Good? I think yeah. Vader, Vader, Red, I mean, Libby made it to the top with Vader Yellow, too, so, I mean, I don't think we need to just say Vader Red is better, but. Right. Um,. So hopefully you guys like that, uh, the recap and all that stuff too. Uh, just the shenanigans of everything. I did, again, uh, just like the first video, uh, huge thank you to Cascade uh, for running this tournament. They, they do a great job. All that stuff too uh, on everything that they've done. Um, David and, and Gandork and uh, all the rest of the team, they did such a spectacular job. Um, and they made the streamers felt, you know, feel very accommodated. Uh, to make sure everything was happening for us, so it was good. You want to mention the late night gaming thing? Yeah. Oh, uh, the inclusion of in late night gaming. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. Say something <laughs> He's like you. Hey. <laughs> I don't know. Nah. So no. Yeah. So as of as of now, uh, Loopy, um, as well as myself, have joined late night gaming. So we'll go on as many times as we can in regards to late night gaming, uh, um, and also possibly extra hosts uh, when when Tom is not around. 
that type of thing too. But um, yeah, late yeah, night. I, I, the way I described it is, you're gonna keep doing your thing on Tuesday and just come party with us on Friday night. Yeah, I love it, man. <laughs> you always have more muck. Oh god. But um, no, no, I, I'm freaking crazy honored that uh, being asked, man. So it's, it means it means a great deal. Yep. Yeah, man. Uh, so that's just that's just uh, crazy news all around, man. Um, what else? Uh, da, da, da. Oh, uh, uh, congratulations to just all the content. Oh my God, so many content creators slash uh, creative group people that were here at this GQ. Uh, Artificery, Cloud City Rollers, um, Masters of Mitigation. Uh, um, 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 that's a failure. That's a failure. No, they took off. Well, they were there yesterday, but they were here last <laughs> uh, yesterday. We're here still um, at some point. Yeah. Uh, Best Commando. Uh, yeah, it was it was loaded. Yeah. Uh, and then. Uh, uh, oh no, Command. Yeah, Best Commando. Right. Commando cast. Commando cast. Commando something. Yeah. Something. Something. I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel bad. bad. Commando cast. <laughs> I love you, Andrew. I, mean, I, love, which one I love you, Mike. I love you, Andrew. Which one is it? Like, what do you... Well, maybe they're best commandos and they do a commando cast. Yeah, that that's is? what it is. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I was right. But I love their you guys. group is Dice Commando. 